Keith Oberman is upset, guys. It's very important. Oh, that you man. guys all take a moment and is appreciate his okay? frustration. He calls for Elon Musk deportation during unhinged rant. Get the F out of our country. Go ahead, Keith. Time to cancel all the contracts and reassess his immigration status and hopefully deport him the hell out of the country. And if we can't do that by conventional means, President Biden, you have presidential immunity. Get Elon Musk the F out of our country and do it now. What, a, what an emotional reaction. Not let's get the illegal immigrants out of here. Let's close down the border. Let's get the people who are basically taking jobs and making inflation run rampant and are basically killing the supply and man of the housing situation. Let's get the one person who creates more jobs than anybody, the richest man in the world. We don't want that job creator here. Let's get the illegals in here. Well, now. he it got it all wrong. Sense. Keith got it wrong. I mean, there's something on there. I don't, I don't know if he's drinking something, taking something. I don't know what it is, yeah, but he's yes. completely upside down. What he didn't get the memo, you're supposed to yell into the mic microphone and threaten to move to Canada. Yeah. You're not supposed yeah. to endorse deportation policy. Mm. That's completely upside down. How many celebrities have said, if Trump wins, I'm moving to Canada, which really, you know, what they don't know is that's helped me and my, um, in, in, in my family, help me get a few cousins willing to vote for Trump because if some of the knucklehead celebrities are, are going to move, they think that's a pretty good thing. So Oberman is completely upside down. You're doing it wrong, Keith. You're supposed to threaten to move to Canada. You but know what's funny? How many Nobody's places done it. has he been fired from? All of them. No, no. How many places, Tom? Honestly. No, I think he's been M fired. He had, feuds, he, was, he had feuds with his colleagues. So MSNBC's exit in 2011 was due to conflicts with management. He had a history of tense relationships with networks and coworkers. ESPN exit. Uh, he um, he worked at ESPN multiple times and has been fired. Twice. Or at least ways. twice. He's just an angry, just... Like, and, and mind you, but besides just him and his personality and what he's going through, like, I hope he gets help. But the, the Trump, the, the Trump derangement syndrome phenomenon is they're going to talk about it for, for years to come. All that legacy, Pat, all that mainstream media that we all talk about, it has infected people's brains like him and Rosie O'Donnell. This and is cancel culture. That, I don't like who you, I don't like what you said, Elon. Cancel you. Yeah, exactly. And just that, and I feel, dude, I genuinely feel bad for these people. And who was the person that, uh, that, that debate that happened with Adam Schiff? Where the guy's like, Steve, Steve Garvey. Garvey, you're letting the pitcher, one the person, one person, you think about this man every single day. Like he has infected your mind and it's the mainstream media. I wish there was a way for them to sue all, see, like CNN and all these people because you guys have infected my, like did you, you see, infected this. Did you see what Jim Brewer did? And I haven't talked about that. Rob, did you see this? You're a comedian. You know about Jim Brewer. Yeah, I know did you is. see about how the, it was a great bit that he did about TDS? Incredible. You can probably find it right now. He's basically saying that people hear their name and they just like, ah, 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 yeah. they start they can't take freaking it. out. Yeah. He's an insurrectionist. He's just a white supremacist. Yeah. He does an amazing bit. You can probably find it yeah, on, and you can't, on YouTube. And they can't Jim help Brewer Adam. And, and, and it's just, and they can't, like, I, I didn't know you back then when, you know, you hated Trump. But I never I don't said think hate. I, ne but, but I never I don't, said hate. But I don't, Pat I don't, knows I don't, this. But I don't think you were this I level. I wasn't a fan. You weren't you were this level of just anger and then no, bitterness. But this and is it's just the what? reality. Rob, you find it on YouTube. Oh, I mean, what's, I, I, I know the bit that you're talking about. Yeah, here it is right here. Here it is. Can we play this? Can, can, no, before you do, Rob, yeah. can we or no? If it's part of his shtick, I don't want to do it. Yeah, I, also, I think we shouldn't. No, okay. don't play. Yeah. Gotcha. Don't play. But he basically does an amazing impersonation of people who are just freaking out when they hear his name. And th this is the whole situation. They are not willing to even listen to any policies or factor any nope. of that in. It's they see him, orange man, bad, I'm out. I have, a, I have a theory. I think when you're above 60, no kids, not married, you become like a woman. Above 60, not married, no kids. Now, what does that mean? You may say, come on, how could you say stuff like that? You know, <clears throat> we're talking about marriage and relationships. When I was a kid, I, I didn't want my parents to marry anybody else when they got a divorce. Mm. You, you don't want that as a, as a child. You're like, no, I don't want that to happen. Mm. As you get older, you know what you realize? You wish they did. Yeah. Because everybody needs company. You need somebody to argue with. You need somebody to talk to. You need somebody <laughs> to go through. Ish. You literally... You need it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you become, you, you, you have to pick fights with everybody. Mm. You, you, you have, you, you, your way of being relevant is then you fight your kids. But then if you don't have kids, you fight your friends. 
and you fight your siblings, and your siblings are like, dude, just leave me alone, man. I don't want to talk to this person. Every time it's a fight with this guy, right? You know, fight and fight. So you need company. And Keith is single, 65, no kids. Is he really? Yeah, he's 65, I Angry. think. Angry. So you this, is his, he is? this is his daily exercise. This is his cardio. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate, and it's not healthy, man. You, you, man was not made to be 65 years old by himself. God created the opportunity to have kids, to have things to work through with, to have to learn about patience. Kids will teach you a lot, and they'll reveal a lot. The other day, you know, we're driving the car, and we're going red lights and stop signs, and... You know, I'm I'm crossing this uh, whatever you know California stop sign. What do you call it? California. Uh, just, uh, a California just, stop. You just kind of yeah. roll. California roll. stop, and you know Dylan says, "Well, you know, Melvin just fully stops," and then Jen's like, oh "My gosh, shit, I got to fully stop because these guys are watching <laughs> the way I drive." Yeah, of course. So now I'm driving and I'm stopping, and Dylan's like, "Dad, you're driving boring, Dad." <laughs> like, no, no. This is the mm-hmm. responsible thing to do, right? What are you doing? Yeah. Some, sometimes you have to, kids will do something to you. It's what? a very weird dynamic when you go through it. This guy. Pat, there's, there's one other thing that, one that, other th- that back up what you're saying. I know. I know it's not even just yeah. an opinion what you're saying. So, yeah. so people out there are like, oh, that's just Pat's opinion, Rob, but I sent you this. There's st- this is what I keep tracking is the, is the gender divide on who's voting for who. So it's different between men and women. But when you get into parents and who has kids... This is actually very interesting. Harris holds a slight edge over Trump. Keep calling down. There's two major images that you can basically go through right here. Here it is right here. Harris is a slight edge propelled by women. That's the, that's the overall. Whereas women are, what is that, 48-35 towards Kamala. Men, 39-47 towards Trump. The non, by the way, if you scroll down a little bit, Kamala, here it is, guys, breaking news. Kamala has the non-binary <laughs> Vote oh, wow. on She's lock. Oh, Look it's at over. that thing right it's there. It's over, boys. It's and over, girls. guys. The November he him, the she, the she they's, the they them's, all these guys, the transformers. She's got it. But if you scroll down, this is this for, essentially validates what PBD is saying. This is married versus not married parents. When you have kids, Ta-da. something about uh, your mindset, what you're talking about here with uh, Keith Oberman, starts to set in. Whereas. Parents are for Trump. Ex- Look at that. Parents are for Trump. Moms are for Trump. Moms are for Trump. Dads are for Trump. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, There's something is, there. When you a, have family values and you care gay, about your kids. What about gay dads? Gay dads are actually more for Kamala. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know why, but uh, it's part of the nine binary but, but thing. You, I don't know. We'll investigate that. This, this, this explains yeah. why. So why yeah. would you be for Trump? Why would you be for Trump? Actually, think about it. Why, why would more moms and dads and parents be for because they don't conservative, want conservative, yeah. fiscally, taxes, safety. Why would you be? Yeah. Because you, you have somebody else you have to be thinking about their dreams, yep. mm-hmm. their safety, their security, rather than yourself. Keith wakes up every day thinking about himself. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. And I, That's his life. Remember, That's, I pointed out that interesting stat between Trump, Elon, and Tucker. They have 20 kids between them. And between Kamala, I'm talking natural born kids, Kamala. Chelsea Handler, Taylor Swift, this whole crew, zero kids. So it's very interesting here who really is the party of family values and not. Rob, go ahead and play this clip. This You're so funny. Go ahead, Rob. <laughs> Gays for Trump. Gays for Trump. You know the kid. <laughs> what, what would have even been better if he goes, you don't look gay, but you, you, you definitely look gay, buddy. Look gay. Like, I'm not even gay. What are you talking oh about? Oh my here? God, bro. I How about you, buddy? Oh, no, four no. more years, I want it back so bad. You don't look gay. You don't look gay. I'm <clears throat> killing. Standing applause. Applause right, break. He's let's, actually let's, getting funnier. Election night. We're mm. putting the biggest party nationwide at a new property we just bought. If you haven't yet bought your tickets, get your tickets and come down. I wish I could tell you all the surprises we got that, that, that night. We're gonna do grand opening. We're gonna do the whole, what do you call it when it's uh, the, the- The shovel? The shovel with the breaking ground. Breaking ground. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna t- reveal and show stuff we've never shown before, especially to some of you guys that wanna be super VIPs. To the super VIPs that wanna network with other super VIPs, we're gonna treat you royally that night, okay? Rob, just play the clip on what's gonna be happening on election night for you to come and join us. Play this clip from the new building that we just got, um, just what, a week and a half ago? Yep. I'm there every day. Dylan yesterday going 27 miles an hour in his car, oh. having a blast. But go ahead, Rob, play the clip. Okay, I got a big announcement to make, and the good news is 
you're the first to know and you'll be the first to be invited. So the property I'm on right now, we've been working on buying this property for the last three years. It's one of its last kind in America. Why? Uh, it's on 11 acres, it's got two hangars, it's on an airport, upgrades of $7 million made here. That's gonna be the new headquarters of Value Tainment, Manek, Bay David Consulting, the podcast, the whole nine. And what we wanted to do in a special way that you're gonna hear about this two days before I announce it publicly on the PBD podcast, we wanna find a way to celebrate this as a new headquarters with inviting you to an event on November 5th, which is election night. A lot of different things people will be talking about, business owners, what's gonna happen if it goes this way? What's gonna happen if it goes that way? So imagine 2,000 people being here. Let me show you around. Some of you will have a private meeting with me. That's the elite, that's gonna be a few of you. Some will get a private tour of the entire office from us. There's a hangar in the back. So you come up here, Jeez. imagine there's gonna be a couple major tents, 40 feet by 100 feet, where some of the people that are buying general tickets will be there. But over here inside the hangar is where the podcast will be held. This entire thing will be open like it is right now. Inside of it, myself, the PBD podcast crew, yeah. some of the super VIPs will be invited to go upstairs in a section that we have that's got a bar, a restaurant, food, you know, kitchen. You're eating, you're watching it from all the way up there while we're doing the podcast down here in the hangar. So imagine in this room, there's a thousand people, right? While we're going through this whole thing. Conversation, it's gonna be from 6 p.m. is when it starts. All the way up to two o'clock in the morning. Who knows, maybe we go three, four o'clock in the morning because a lot of things that's gonna be going on. And by the way, do you know why we're not cutting this? We're on an airport. <laughs> These are planes. We have to hear because right here is the mm -hmm. airport. And FYI, messy place right there at that stadium right behind us. So you got 48 hours before I announce this publicly. There's five tickets here that you can purchase. Each one's got more things to offer. But even locally, there's general tickets to buy for just $75. Bring your uh, wife, bring your husband, bring your family, bring your friends. There's one caveat after you buy the ticket. When you buy the ticket and you come on November 5th, you have to wear Future Looks Bright gear. I'm talking Future Looks Bright hat, a shirt, doesn't matter. You're gonna have to show I got some kind of Future Looks Bright gear because we want everybody here to spread the message and the energy of optimism around the world, back to their states, wherever you're going to be. So November 5th, click on the link above or below, get registered. And if you're watching the same, well, Pat, I like to travel private. Can I bring my private jet here? Five of you guys will be <laughs> after you buy your ticket, then you can ask us. And that's only available to the tickets at the highest level possible to bring your jet and park it here. So having I'm said jet. that, get your tickets. Mm -hmm. And I cannot wait to see you November 5th, 6 p.m. at our new headquarters in Fort Lauderdale. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye, bye-bye. It's going to be freaking awesome. It's going to be it's I'm be going. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going. And, and by the way, I, I wish I could say all the guests that are going to be there. I don't want to say it because part of it is also suspense, surprise, mm. but there's going to be people. You're going to be, be what are you doing here? Yeah. Oh, my God, look who it is. Let me kind of take a picture. It's going to be wild. Bring your family. Bring your friends. We're going to have a good time. Anyway, so uh, we are, what, 25 days away from that day. I cannot Wait. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.